Okay, so in this series, we are going to be focusing on sports problems. And one of the first uh, parts to learning about what are sports problems, uh, which are basically just problems about sports, just some, uh, some like, uh, problems we usually see about sports, or not just sports, just competitions, kind of, or tournaments. And this is concepts and equations. And first, we're going to study what types of games they are or types of tournaments. So their first elimination, it's basically when you have these multiple teams and then every two competitors go against each other. So my friends who, are, uh, who like maybe watch or are in some sports tournament, tournament, tournaments may be familiar with this. Say we have like uh, eight teams, they go against each other in pairs, the winners, move up so winners move up losers just are eliminated and then they compete again and then they repeat and then they have one more competitor and those final two win to have the final gold medal given to so that's how elimination works and that's just a way uh tournaments can be played and an equation for that would be there would be not n minus one rounds needed. N being the number, so n is the number of teams. So n minus one rounds would be needed in order to uh, to find the winner. So uh, if you think about it, you could test this out, and you'll see eventually that it's true. Now, this is called a round robin. So what does that mean? <laughs> so this is when one competitor competes against, competes against every other competitor. So every other competitor plays n minus 1. So every competitor plays n minus 1 rounds. And a total uh, to finish this whole tournament in round robin, would be this equation, n times the difference of n and 1, and then that divided by 2. So here's what I mean. Uh, if we have um, four teams, right? Team A, team B, I'm going to draw them out in dots so it's easier to see. Drawing line plots like this is something, it's something that you should master um, throughout this series. So drawing line plots, or not just lines, just uh, point plots or just plots so team a and every single time i draw another line it means that it has competed with them so team a first is going to go against team b right now we're playing in round robin and then it's going to go against team c then it's going to go against team d now every two teams only have uh Every two teams only have one competition in, in between them. So now I'm going to, so that's three, right? Now I'm going to look at how many B does. Well, B can't go back with A because they already did that, and they can only have one line between two points. So then B would compete against, B would compete, B would compete against C, and B would compete against D. So that's actually two more. Plus two. Now C is gonna uh, go with D because that's the only one available. So plus one and D doesn't have to have its own. So that would be a total of six games together. And if you think about that, that's also um, that also makes sense. So if so, right now there are four teams. So if we plug four in as n, four times 4 minus times 4 minus 1 divided by 2 would be equal to, we can first do 4 divided by 2, that's 2, times 4 minus 1, that's 3, so 6. So we get the same answer. And that is a proof of why that equation is true. But remember, that only works for round robins. Only works for round robins. Now let's look at... The final one, double round robin. So one competitor competes twice, once and twice, 
against every other competitor. So then they would be 2 times n minus 1 rounds needed in order to find the winner. So there you go. Those are the um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 different equations we need to master uh, as we go along the series and solve some more bridge problems. So what are you waiting for? These are the equations, these are the concepts, and let's go get to the problem.